Hi everybody, Doug Hippie again with the EAC Product Development Solutions Tip of the Week. Today we're going to look at exploding in Creo 2.0. They've made the tool much simpler to use and it brings out that wonderful 3D dragger that PTC has implemented in the assembly module as well as in the flexible modeling extension. So let's take a look at it. Of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is give it a name of whatever you like. I kind of like that new EXP001. And then tell it you want to start editing your position. Grab the component you want to have, and here's your uh, 3D dragger. You can start pulling these things and moving them where you would like to have them. You can also then just right click if you want to clear everything. Again, following the minimal mouse button or mouse travel that PTC is looking for with Career Parametric. Now I can also hold down the control button and grab several at once if I would like to. So those can be moved simultaneously also. And then you can just uh, continue to move your components out in the direction in the location that you'd like to have. In the event that you want to move somewhere other than the standard coordinate system, you can go up into the uh, into the ribbon itself and select an item for the direction that you would like to travel. So let's take a look at one more item that's on here now. So what we're going to do is actually introduce an offset line or as some people might call a thrust line. So the way you do a thrust line is you pick on the edit uh, position and, and create a cosmetic offset line. And I recommend that you come down to the smart filter set it to surface. It's going to automatically uh, take you to the first reference that you'd like to have. Select the second reference that you want to have it in alignment. In this case here, it's going to be the OD of the screw as the first reference, and then the ID of the hole that the screw goes into as the second reference. Now I can select apply, and I now have that offset line that's displayed in my screen. A little bit difficult to see, so let's clarify that a little bit. So I can right click on it, go into it, and then modify that line style. And I can change it just like any other curve. If I'd like to uh, have a different type of line font, I can introduce that. If I'd like the change of color, I can also introduce that so that these things can be seen a little bit better. Okay, so pretty uh, simple thing to do when you're making that change. Now, if I go back in to edit the position, I can make some changes again. So if I grab my component, and let's say I move this component in, you'll notice that the offset line has followed along with it. So I don't have to put any jogs in there if I'd like, it automatically goes in there. But if I would like to modify that, I can say let's edit that explode dot line, and now I have some nice drag handles that I can use in order to modify that thrust line or that offset explode line. So pretty simple thing to do. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot of effort to master exploding in Creo Parametric. And don't forget, once you've made a change, it's going to show the familiar little plus sign in the parentheses after the name of that explode. You need to make sure that you save those things so that you have access to those once again once you close out. Once you've taken care of that, there's one other item that I want to uh, show here. We're just going to go back into the explode here, and we're going to unexplode it or turn it back into its pre-exploded state, and we're going to close out. You'll notice that nice, smooth transition that it took. So let's take a look at how I can uh, make some changes in that area. If you go to the entity display in your Creo parametric options, you can make changes to it. So what you've got right here is... Showing animation while exploding the assembly, that is checked by default. But if you want it to follow a specific explode sequence, you'll check this box right here. And maybe I want it to last a little, take a little bit longer throughout its explosion. So I am going to set this for 10 seconds in between each state. I'm going to select OK. You've got the option if you want to save this permanently to your config.profile. In this case here, I'm just going to save it to my session. So I'm just going to say no. Come back over to it, tell it you want to explode it, and now it's going to follow the sequence that you created during the explode. So, that's exploding in Creo Parametric 2.0. 
If you'd like more information about it, contact your friendly EAC account manager. And this is Doug Hippie again from EAC Product Development Solutions. Have a great week.